Election day ended early in North Mitrovica as the controversial polls descended into chaos. It was already clear that the vast majority of ethnic Serbs had boycotted the vote when a tear gas attack brought the process to an abrupt halt. This is where the attack took place, a primary school serving as the main polling station in North Mitrovica. As darkness fell at around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, witnesses say that men ran in and started throwing tear gas canisters. As the staff fled, they then began to attack the ballot boxes. The vote had been scheduled to carry on for another two hours, but the polling station couldn't continue operations. They started smashing ballot boxes, throwing ballot papers around, insulting members of the election commission, and one older woman was seriously injured because one of the attackers hit her with a chair. We heard that another woman had also been injured, her leg was broken, and this shows the bestiality and arrogance of the attackers. It was a grim conclusion to an imperfect day in North Mitrovica for the security organization, the OSCE. It had already faced accusations that its supervision of the election had fallen short. Following the attack, it pulled all its staff out of Mitrovica and nearby Zvechan. The big question is, who organized the attack? The boycott organizers vehemently deny it was them and suggest the polling station was only stormed when it was becoming clear how few Serbs had voted. Dark forces were at work, they say. The recriminations have only just started. And at some point, there'll have to be a decision on whether to ask the Serbs of North Mitrovica to go to the polls again. Guy Delaunay, BBC News, Mitrovica.